Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. When was the GSA formed? Well, dear viewers, let's take a trip back in time to the year 1949. It was a post-World War II era, and the United States was in the thick of reorganizing its federal agencies. It was in this ambiance that the General Services Administration, or the GSA as we know it, was born. President Harry S. Truman signed the Federal Property and Administrative Services Act into law on July 1, 1949, giving birth to the GSA. The main aim? To streamline the administrative work of the federal government. The GSA was set up to manage government buildings and supplies, making it the real estate broker, quartermaster, and office manager of the federal government. Imagine being the office manager for the entire federal government. That's a lot of coffee runs, right? But the GSA is more than just an office manager. It's also responsible for developing government-wide cost-minimizing policies. So, in essence, it's also the government's cost accountant. So, there you have it. The GSA was formed on July 1, 1949, and has been keeping the federal government's administrative engine running smoothly ever since. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.